Hello, it's time for another bedtime story. I'm Miss Gina and I'm reading Sometimes I Grumble Squinch by Rachel Vale, illustrated by Hei Wan Yum. Sometimes I Grumble Squinch. My name is Katie Honors and I'm a really nice kid. I always go along nicely. I'm happy to play any game when a friend comes over. Even if I lose, I'm a good sport. Good game, I say. Either way, I hardly frown. If there isn't mango sorbet, I say, that's okay, I like cookie dough too. Mom smiles and says I can get sprinkles, which is extra. I didn't even ask. Katie is such a pleasure, Mom says. She really is, Dad agrees. I fit perfectly in their hugs. They are very proud of me, but there is something they don't know. Some mornings, my little brother Chuck crawls into my bed while I am still sleeping. He breathes hot on my eyelid. A drool from his wet mouth plonks onto my arm. The first word I say in the whole day is, ew. I say it very quietly, though. I put on my beautiful new shirt. I love it. It cheers me right up. Chuck follows me down to breakfast and sits in my seat. That's my seat, Chuck, I tell him nicely. Oh, Katie, says Mom, you don't mind, do you? I do mind, but I say it's okay, and I move to Chuck's seat. Sometimes I grumble squinch. My insides tighten and I think mean thoughts. I wish I had a trampoline or a tree house or a giraffe instead of a brother. If I had one of those instead of a brother, I could sit in my own seat at breakfast. Here's your bibble bibble, Dad says to Chuck. Bibble bibble is what Chuck calls toast with butter. Chuck doesn't like cereal. Chuck only likes Bibble Bibble. Chuck smashes his buttery fist into my bowl of cereal. Oh, Chuck, no punching Katie cereal, silly, Mom says, putting him down on the floor. Say you're sorry to Katie. I wish I could pop him like a balloon. I wish he'd kaplume into a million bajillion bibble bibble crumbs. I wish he would disappear. But I don't yell those wishes. I grumble squinch them right down. Chuck scampers over and grabs me with his milky hands. He snuggles his buttery face against my beautiful new shirt. I am a tight, horrible squinch of grumble. Chuck loves you, Dad says. He pulls Chuck off me and carries him away, singing and smiling. You okay? Mom asks me. I nod because I am always okay. But that nod is a lie. I am not okay. And lying about it, is making me cry. And then I just can't grumble squinch my feelings down anymore. Chuck ruins everything, I yell. He's sticky and stinky and he breathes on me and I want to sit in my own chair. And everybody smiles at him, but he is a buttery baby on my shirt and I wish I could kaplume him up. Then it's quiet. I'm scared. I didn't mean it, but also I did mean it. They won't think I am such a pleasure anymore. I wish I could grumble squinch it all back inside. Maybe I ruined everything. I wait for mom to yell that I am bad, to say, you go to your room and think about it to look disappointed in me. I look up at mom's face. 
It's really hard sometimes, Mom whispers instead, even when you love somebody. I nod. This nod is true. Mom says, I know. She holds out her arms to me. She folds me up safe in there. I still fit perfectly, even though I didn't grumble squinch all my secret thoughts inside. There's room for the whole me. The end. I hope that you enjoyed Sometimes I Grumble Squinch, and I hope you have a good night and a lovely morning. See you again next time. Bye.